What's up guys, this is the Rothman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run up happened last time, we managed to successfully kick the French off the continent and sue for a successful peace, although they did not like it. Um, so the more immediate targets for us to help build up our tax base and also to do something while we develop a bit more of an advanced military is to take out these pirate islands to get a bit more trade income because trade income is always good. So now we're in a good rat position where we have two armies which can do something useful. Actually I may I might just ask for... No, I was about to ask for military access but I don't want to give anything away. Uh, ooh, well actually... Well, no, for now they can move back to Boston because um, this is my strongest army. Then my other army which is here at Montreal they are probably going to move and get ready to attack um, attack the pirates. So let's get them moving. Our research and tech is okay. We've got no money to spend. We can trade with everyone we can trade with. I believe... Yep. Good. So let's hit end turn. The trouble is eventually our, uh, our ruler will ruin our political relationships with every other <clears throat> nation on the country because he's got that negative 10 penalty although I'm not sure if it's one time or if it's recurring it makes sense for it to be one time but you never know um, so yeah the idea is to take over some pirate territories while we get something like fire by rank so I can move and either hit Lisbon or Morocco if Morocco is available, hit Morocco first. If Morocco is not available, hit Lisbon. The idea being it gives us a base to work in the European theatre. And it also gives us another, well, a useful military objective to aim at, to aim for. Because, I mean, if we're friendly with the native populations and we will stay friendly with them for now just to make it a bit different from my US campaign then I think that's probably the best thing to do eventually they'll probably turn on us at some point but we can deal with that later because I'd like to take Morocco because it would give me a North Ameri North African front to advance along and secure Egypt which would be one of our campaign objectives good the trap has developed. Okie dokie, so. 6,000 smackaroonies. How do we spend it? I'm probably going to want. So, do I do, 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 do a military encampment because they're a bit out of the way and it would be handy if I could do some recruitment down here? Or. Do I just more or less... Yeah, the population's tiny. Do I just accept that they're going to be bringing... I'm going to be bringing down armies from the north and then just go civil. So I think I'm going to go government council. Uh, I, mean, I may as well keep going with this. That's three grand. Philadelphia, you can get Governor's Chambers, and what about Boston? I think Boston's fully upgraded, so let's get the Government Chambers for Philadelphia. And then let's pick up a Government Quarters for Montreal. Lots of civil spending. While well, this chap continues his march towards home. Good. And turn again. As is tradition for minor nation playthroughs, we're going to be hitting lots of end turns at the start, <laughs> just because we've not got much else to do. I think pirates are a good shout because in the event of it looks like the Fran French have taken Brussels so it would mean we also have an army in the Caribbean to take advantage of any pirate nations that emerge so while they're not strictly an objective of ours uh, I still think it's a good idea as I said earns us money and gives us something to do on that intermediate step to attacking a major power, well, a more major power. Yeah, the Portuguese, Portuguese Navy is a concern. 
what normally ends up happening is they'll just sprint up, dump an army on the coast, and then whoever's there will die. But that's why I like Morocco. But it's not a rush. Morocco would be ideal, but I'm not going to rush to try to get it. I want to be, I want to have all my ducks in a row, so that when I move, we will have a decent position. Okay, so we've got a gentleman. Good. So, New Yorkers, me good money. Got good roads in Upper Canada. Spend some money to re to re replenish you guys. Kind of the government council. Because all these government buildings, they make people happier and they earn me more money than the military governor's barracks. These guys are super happy, so you could well be en route to get a school. So it'll be Charlotte and then Raleigh will develop. Cool. Oh, so this guy's got a bit... <laughs> he's not quite as... Plus one to zeal, but it, sound, it looked like it said... Test of faith. Minus one to zeal. But I think... I think everyone's converted in my empire. Well, generally. I've got a priest up to the north that's going to work these crowds. Yeah, everyone's good. So let's cause some mischief. As you desire. Send him to survive. Oh god, one turn. Bam. <laughs> Religious unrest, nine. Because that would be handy, because as much as I don't necessarily want to attack these provinces, if they rebelled, then I would sweep in and take them. Uh, okay, and turn. Because then socket bayonets will be researched. I can go on to the next tier of military research and then go on to hit. We'll get my new economics up get my new military barracks upgrade. Try sneaking in a, a economic tech in, in between. And then send and then start to go on to fly by rank. Cool. Yes, I think I've managed to do this well enough that it's not entirely the same as my US campaign. Because <laughs> um, I know that was a concern, but also bear in mind my US campaign was started literally about five or six years ago. <laughs> so if there's some overlap, uh, surely there must be some. There must be some time period which means that it's okay <laughs> to do something that's kind of similar. Pirates still being sneaky beaky on the move. Ring bayonet is good. Go for military syllabus to get the drill school to get fire by rank. Chances are probably during the drill school that'll depend on what what we can do, but I might try to sneak in physiocracy and square formation. Good. Got a new college. 55 till New Haven grows. Good. Okay, let's have a look. Oh. The election. Let's have a look. People are okay. But do I risk kicking him out? Ah, he's okay. He's positive. He's doing something useful. I'll try to kill that French scout again. Damn. Should we move him to Quebec? Hold in Quebec. So let's take... Let's not move my entire navy, because whatever navy I send will be destroyed. Plymouth, embark. Ready. 
Let's hit Antigua. It's probably going to be a port, a navy in the port. No, I guess not. Security! Hit Antigua. It's not worth a whole lot, but it gets me another, another sugar, um, another sugar plantation on the market. A high yield one at that. Trinidad and Tobago is low yield, so Antigua is probably worth more in the long run. Good stuff. Spain and Portugal are at war, which isn't good. Because then they might take Lisbon, but they might free up. They might not go for Morocco. wait and see how it plays out. Okay, money, money, money. We'll start to build up some of the stuff that's a bit less useful. So let's start to build up some military infrastructure in Quebec. Good, in turn. Although it looks like our pirate fight's not going to be much of a fight. But that's to be expected. They are the pirate nations, they can't really afford to have stacks and stacks of troops on their two islands. Mm, I'm surprised Sweden hasn't killed Denmark yet. Marathas are on the move, as is tradition. Some people have messed around with the idea of trying to support whichever the losing side is in order to, to keep the civil war simmering for as long as possible before they get in. Because the idea is that a split India is easier to conquer than a united India, which is true. Chambers. Let's see, Quebec's fast becoming an extremely valuable region. 2600. Oh, it's not even being taxed. Tax away. 10 grand. It's a lot of dough. So. Sir, your orders? I'm, gonna f I'm just going to fight it just because I don't know rifle, well, then there'd be no shooting at all, so I'd rather give you guys something to work with than nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okie dokie. <laughs> Frederick Wilhelm the first. Oh, this is beautiful. I always forget how great it is fighting in the Caribbean. So I want my battle line of battle line of infantry, cover on the flank, skirmish there, waters and then move. are on the move. So who are they focusing? Okie dokie. So let's trip speed it. She might quickly knock the There you go. And 
gonna go for a long run. Dive my cavalry straight in, because they won't be able to stop me. Yep. Chop. Yeah, now they're immediately going, oh. More than happy to risk running up into close combat because I've got socket bayonets now, so I'm completely okay with such an arrangement. Then we're going to kick off. <laughs> Mass charge if they can make it in. Light cavalry are up. Yep. Break, 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 break. As is tradition. Actually, so I might continue it just start getting my general some experience. So once he's through my own troops, get him. Start to make, start to get make these some proper war fighting generals. Although they are going to rout successfully, so most of them are anyway. Yeah, they're clearing them up as they run past them. Chop. Although they're going to make it. No! Yep, decisive victory. More colonies now. Well, I mean, we've got some other stuff in America, but anyway, you get my point. Sound the call to battle. Tigre's ours. Destroy this port, because it's useless for us. And let's get some basic roads. Good stuff. A key. In turn. So we're 10 grand a turn. That's really going to put the... So we're going get to the, get the... Get the uh, Get the fires burning. Probably to build out my navy somewhat as well. I think we're going to run out of things we can spend our money actually on fairly quickly. Unless we did something like saving up for forts, but I think I'd rather have a navy. I think in this case, because the, the AI usually doesn't amphibiously assault, assault you very much, we should be okay and also it's in our own territory, like we can, if they send an army over, they'll be in our land and we'll be able to there is easily in this region swamp that them. Has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Official. Okay, trading port. I mean, yeah, we'll keep going with the military governor's barracks. I don't know, will we though? Um, Charlotte's going to be developing soon. Let's get the government chambers. To be honest, right now, I may as well just keep just 
keep spending because right now we've not got much else you can spend it on. Let's get him back into the Plymouth shipyard. Good stuff, and there's not much point recruiting any of those things. Okie dokie, end turn. Oh, everything's popping. I don't even know where my phone is, it's somewhere behind me, making a noise. So it would be really handy if we could start developing our... If we could start to develop our farms to make our towns grow quicker, that would be ideal, because we've got lots of towns we can make use of. And these will grow into being wealthy towns as well. But the focus, primary focus, fly by rank. Oh yeah, fly by rank. That's the main focus for now. Right now we've not got much. There's not much point in worrying about much else. Good, so that's military syllabus done. So we're going to build drill school, which takes three turns. So we're going to research physiocracy. I was hoping previously it was three turns, although maybe if we move all my gentlemen out nope to be honest it doesn't make a difference so I may as well preemptively send this guy down here for when Charlotte gets built in a handful of turns good new roads, let's get even better roads Let's get a drill school, because you never know when we're going to have to start to start churning out armies. So you guys are replenishing, and then the next turn we can send you down to go secure Trinidad and Tobago. And we do have the French, if we captured Brussels, the French at war. The Arab War of the United Provinces. Good. And the Poles have still got their handy little territory, but the Prussians are arming up. Vienna's under siege. That's not good. Oh well, back to the Americas, where everything seems to be going much better. Quebec's turning. Savannah's Pro Protestant, and we've annoyed them all. St. Augustine's going to be Florida soon. It's not going to result in much disruption because the garrison is so high, but then they can't afford to leave. So this guy, if they left, they would be... Yeah, well, they'd be negative one, and they would be enduring unless they built more garrison. Same here, I think. Oh no, they must have a a thing which allows them to recover it. Yes, Because if we leave... Okay, so he needs to stay there. Well, in lieu of having anywhere better for them to go, he is going to stay there. Let's hit end turn. Comes the Royal Navy. So let's see how the AI responds. Because right now we're earning truckloads of money. Well, relatively, for this part of the game, I would have loved to have been earning 10 grand a turn as the Greeks. I'd have actually been able to have done something. But let's wait and see, because I, I could just get... <laughs> it's making me wonder, is the game just really prejudiced against emergent factions? Because it was only in the Greeks, and to a certain degree the Mexico campaign, that I had massive problems. And I may actually leave this chap here, because he is causing lots of problems for the other colonial powers. And I'm wondering, is that something I want to disrupt? I'm thinking maybe no. So your trade port's built. Okay, you're on route. So... 
Andrew Hamilton. March to Boston. Has Boston got more people? Yeah, it does. I'm still going to upgrade. Uh. Wow, well, so yeah. Grand Opera House is just for happiness. The Royal Observatory. Plus three, plus three, plus three per turn to Town Wealth. Royal Observatory is plus two, plus two, plus eight per turn. Plus gentlemen. So yeah. Unless you really need that extra happiness, you may as well just go for Royal Observatory. Build that, build that. Let's get some grill, get grenadiers and rangers. Can I build? Let's build two 12 pounders and let's get ready to disband the demi cannons. And I did also see marines. I'm curious to where it lets me recruit those. Okay, so let's get a unit. Let's get some marines queued up, and then we'll get ready to sail them across the sea. And I'd like a bit of a bigger navy. It's a very good one because it's just six rates, six rates. Unless we can, unless we can safely sprint across the sea. Uh, but I'm thinking I might leave, leave that last pirate army because, as I, as we can see, it is, it's not really bothering me, but it is laying siege and blockading and interfering with the other with the Spanish and the British and the French so I'm probably best off letting them be maybe even try to get a piece of them if that's even possible because right now I don't care what they do as long as they leave me alone there is unused land suitable for plantations in this region the Okay, so you've got plantations and then let's get So let's get reset and tech. You oh, see so yes yeah, so the problem is one turn behind so we have to sink a turn into doing some not so good. Common land enclosures. So let's get you back. Start to get rid of some of these colonial militia as well. Let's get two marines. <sighs> Parliament chamber, yes please. Good stuff. So Quebec is now yeah, a few more turns, then I'll be on to Montreal. Good. Although, I would like. Let's get this army. Back aboard ship. Then let's get them back to. Nowhere yet. Stay where you are. Because I would like to get them back up. Because when I eventually hit Morocco or ah oh, not Lisbon, Morocco it is. When I hit Morocco, um, I'm going to start to invoke some of the other minor nations. So Morocco, Morocco, Morocco is here. Protector of Dagestan. I don't know what they might just call in Dagestan, but I hope it expands because if it does. Oh, it's the Italian states. I thought it was Venice. I thought I saw an opportunity to snag their North American province. But also we don't want to hang around too much. I'm trying to get into Morocco. Let's hit N10. Yep, gentlemen's almost in place. So apparently Dragoons are meant to be quite efficient for garrison duty for public order reasons. I've normally just kind of recruited militia stuff like that but apparently yeah, apparently dragoons are particularly efficient so I might end up um, recruiting some of those um, if Morocco is no longer an option I may end up having to attack Great Britain 
turning on our formal colonial masters. But that would be risky. I, I, I would do that if Morocco's not... If Morocco's not available, then it's on to Ireland. I probably have to build the military barracks in Ireland to get those rifles, get the, get the um, that Irish skirmisher unit. Then it'd be on to taking Scotland to get Highlanders and the Black Watch and the Scots Infantry. Then it'd be down on to London the for the knockout blow. Have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy. Oh, nuts! Okay. Failure to comply will lead to an organized rebellion against you. Not anymore, it won't. At the essence of this stage could lead to further demands. Where exactly? Okay, let's put the government's barracks to get the repression up. Good old repression. Shield schools have been done, but you may as well. Oh no, no, go on to fire by rank. Oh yeah, okay, my tobacco plantation, cotton plantation. One turn, Charlotte will be ready. Good. Let's get you back yes, to Boston. Let's get the navy back to Plymouth. Then build another fifth, I suppose. And then take. Well, I'll wait till the Marines have been recruited and then I'll bring them over with the unit of Rangers. I mean, we've got militia, but I don't really want. So I may have to. I wish I could move these around. So I'm going to have to spend a couple of turns getting some inf getting some more infantry. Because if I can't get Morocco, and I need to go to, to England, then I will need a good army. Militia won't cut it. Cool, end turn. I would like to give that army in Antigua back to the mainland United States to have some form of army ready to try and respond to any attacks on my territory. But we'll have to find out if uh, if that's even doable in, in the more immediate future, because that Caribbean island is very unhappy with me. But at least we'll have a school built in Charleston, then we'll have two universities on the go. And that will be lovely. Barbary states. Pirates. Good. Let them be scamps. growth in this region has been sufficient for a new town to emerge. This growth is linked to a balance of food supply and taxation. Of course it is. So, unhappiness is going to go from plus 18 to plus 13. Yeah, we've got enough. We've got scope. Particularly as your government chambers are on max repression. New town emerges. That's Charlotte, all right. I mean, yeah, I'll spend the money on that. Bring the marines and skirmishers over. Anything more? Two grenadiers and another ranger unit. So that'll probably be enough. Ooh, there's the French. It's that sneaky French chap again. I have a license. Got him. Good lad. Just because I, I don't want a French a French agent loose on my territory. Quebec's almost Protestant. Good. And turn again. Everything seems to be going okay. Although I am uneasy when I see that the French. Or when the colonial powers start moving armies around their islands, because it usually means they're up to no good. But the saving grace is that that means they aren't proper armies, they're just going to be full of chaff. So they may do something frustrating for a turn, they may capture a city, but they can't hold, it's only a temporary setback. Whereas if it was an army full of heavy infantry, I'd be a bit more concerned. 
I do need to have one eye on those Iroquois fellows. I have to build some small stacks and then build some forts along the border. Just a few infantry units just to act as a speed bump. Ship. Orders, your Majesty. I used to have diplomacy. Don't want to declare on them now, but I just want to double check that they haven't got any weird um, alliances that might kick in. Europe to sail. So long, fellas. Yeah, they could definitely go after me. So, let's start the recruitment of some chaps to watch the mainland. Even if these guys end up getting folded into this army. Yes, right now, plus five. Minus 18. Yeah, they're very unhappy. Do not like the fact I am here at all. But all our sugar and everything is being exported. Good stuff. Five turns. So I'm not going to get fired by rank for the attack on Morocco. But should be okay from after that. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the next episode of our 13 Colonies Let's Play. Alright, cheers. Cheers.